Hi girls and boys, this is Jamie with GettinCraftyStampin.com, like my cute shirt, isn't that fun? Okay, so today is our coffee and cards and I wanted to show you this really pretty and easy card that I kind of thought of as therapy. So it's a beautiful, let's see if I can get it to zoom, there you go, watercolor card and it was actually inspired by a fun coffee bean bag. Believe it or not, my friends at Ragamuffin Coffee Roasters are um, working on the most amazing bags. And I don't know if I'm supposed to tell that. Shh, don't tell them I said anything. Anyway, this was something that was inspired. I'll show you a picture of it in our um, video here. And we're gonna have fun creating with the new Inside of the Lines designer series paper that's free and it's only available for a limited time. It leaves March 31st, so make sure that you get yours for free by March 31st. Now let's go ahead and create this beautiful card. You wanna join me? Okay, let's get started. Okay, lady, lovelies. This is this beautiful watercolor card inspired by a great little bag that um, is made by a local coffee house. It's kind of cool. I love the watercolor details, and as soon as I saw it yesterday, when I was stopping by the coffee shop to visit my friends, um, I knew I had to create it, especially with our awesome Inside of the Lines um, designer series paper. It's free right now. It's a beautiful collection. Actually, we'll be using it this week at our watercolor coloring class. The watercolor pencils in this are dreamy, but you can also use your aqua painter and your reinkers and your ink pads. So this is what we're going to do. It's in our celebration catalog. So every $50 you spend, you can pick any one of these items in the catalog for free. Stamp sets, kits, you name it, ribbons, papers, amazing collection. Not only that, it's since been increased where we have new, two new stamp sets and the beautiful glimmer paper collection. Lots of options. You can see them on my blog at gettincraftystampin.com. So right now what we're going to do is we are going to create. I love creating with you. If you miss joining us in person, you can always join us virtually right here at gettincraftystampin.com and I will post a video tutorial on my blog. So we are gonna use our aqua painter. We are going to use um, our dapper denim, which is an in color ink pad. It's one of my favorite blues in the whole world. world. That is just a stunning blue. And we're gonna use our crumb cake ink pad. In order to get a palette of ink, like just like you see there, what you need to do is while it's closed, you can be semi open it, um, semi open, you can squeeze the ink pad together just like that. That will create a palette of ink on your ink pad, on your lid. And the reason you want that is that you don't want to alter the texture and color of your ink pad. By squeezing it, you get an even impression left behind, so it's not going to have splotches as if I were to paint directly on the ink pad. Now, this is not your traditional watercoloring. It's got the last of crumb cake and dapper, um, dapper denim, but that's about it. So I actually took the stems and the leaves, and I colored those with the crumb cake. And I just kind of colored it in. You can be loosey-goosey with watercoloring, especially this card. When you see the inspiration behind it, you're going to be like, oh my goodness, Janie Me, you could have been even crazier. But my A-type comes out, and it becomes challenging to be outside of the line sometimes for me. I find this to be therapy. For me, to zone out mentally, just coloring is wonderful. I'm not... Um, one who probably colored inside the lines very when I was a little girl. But since I've gotten older, my A type comes out. And there's a couple kinds of stampers. There's the stamping hippie, and then there's me, the stamping, um, I'm the stamping hippie, there's stamping Nazis. And so I'm definitely one that wants you to do whatever you want with your card. These are just suggestions. You will hear if you attend my classes in person, one of my favorite sayings, is now actually I know if anybody's taken my class they're saying it now in their head if not out loud because I have them repeat me um, I am not the boss of your card did you know that I am not the boss of your card you're welcome to copy me uh, because that's a wonderful compliment but I am not in charge of how your card looks or comes out I'm able to help you now you can squeeze your aqua painter to create like a watered out look and it makes it wet and lush just like this. And yes, go outside the lines a little bit on this project, and you'll see why. I'm creating a variety of shades as well by using um, a different amount of water. 
always color along the, the line of your image. So if your line goes like that, you wanna follow it. You'll see what I mean in just a second. Now we're gonna go into making sure I've got all of the leaves and stems. So I'm just gonna kinda of go here. And yes, I even see, I went outside of the lines. It's gonna kill me, not really. Um, and I have one here. It's funny is that I will start coloring with the other color and realize I've missed something and I have to hold back and not go at it right then and there. I'm always worried I'm going to forget something. Super quick and easy. You don't have to think too hard on that. And I think that's why it's therapy for me. I'm going to close out that crumb cake now and put that baby away. And now I'm going to use our dapper denim. I'm going to highlight first. Oh, I do want to point out mm -hmm, that I often keep a, a tissue paper next to me. My dog's walking about. Sorry if you hear her. Um, just to clear the tips of my blender pens or my aqua painters, just like that. Now I'm going to use the dapper denim and I'm going to go in and I'm going to color some of the lines. This is going to give me a natural shadow when I go over the whole project. And often if it has lines, those are the ones I will follow. I don't make up my own lines when I'm coloring. I think I'm always worried about messing up. I don't know if you're like that, but crafting should never be stressful. And I'm going to go through and just color this. Now there's quite a few lines on here, so I could take my time showing you all of them, but I'm literally just gonna zhuzh across them. There is no right or wrong. And so I'm gonna create shadow right there. And again, with this lined here, hoping you guys can see this well. When the camera's above my head like this, it's hard for me to see exactly what I'm doing and what you're seeing. Oh, okay, doke. I see some leaves here in the crumb cake and that's gonna drive me bonkers until I can get it done. It's in my head screaming. Do you ever feel like that? <laughs> and this bumblebee is yummy. And I wanna show you what I do with our bumblebee. Again, no right or wrong with this project at all. You can have fun creating and, and playing around with it. I'm looking here just to make sure I don't forget any of the lines I should be putting in. But because that crumb cake is calling me, yes it is. I am going to go fix that. So I'm going to clear off my aqua painter. It's a nylon bristle, so it can transfer colors easily, but also be cleared out of colors. You just give it a simple squish, and it gets rid of it. Now down here, I'm going to color some more of the leaves. I just got back from feeding my goats, and I can tell you now the most magnificent smell is my garden when the orange blossoms come into play. Here in California, we get a lot of really great orange blossom trees, and I have a small farm. So there is, um, on my property, I think 18 fruit trees at this time. And if the squirrels don't get them, those dastardly squirrels, um, I love to grab our citrus. Now, I'm gonna do a couple different things here. I'm gonna water here by just squeezing my aqua painter and letting this dilute right on the lid. Then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna follow up just like that. Super easy, no stress with this project. You want that layering. If you wanna add a little bit more color and work it up, you can totally do that just like that. Soft and feminine and beautiful, but I want some things to be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna come in and work my way up with this here, just like that. The shadows are, um, are not necessarily seen, they just are kind of subtle to the eye. Don't overthink this project, whatever you do. We had so much fun at the Coffee and Cards this morning. Know that you can take all kinds of classes with me in person or virtually. I have my classes available to go so that you can actually order the class and I send you exclusive video tutorials, just like this. Boom, chicka, boom, boom. And then I'm gonna come in and add more shadow here and color. I'm not going into the center, if you saw that, the pollen area. I'm sure there's a name for that. I don't know what the name is off the top of my head. I know that the stems are the stenums. <laughs> I actually think those little flower sticky up parts are stenums as well, those little lines. And then I want really soft light blue over here. This is a very soft one tone colored, or two tone here um, card. So you don't feel like you have to um, be, it's not that you're limiting your creativity, but you don't have to overthink the project when you have something like that. 
and it creates a variety of shadows and um, tones, which really is a freeing, like fun thing for me to do. I love to play with how many tones I can get from the same ink pad. And because it would be the same, it'd be all monochromatic. So it's appealing to the eye. These here are a little bit too light for me. I'm gonna go back. Now, this is a designer series paper, so it's on a regular piece of paper. We have our aqua painters um, that work even better if you are stamping on watercolor paper. Now here, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna darken out this one flower right here, just like that. I want, isn't the fun, the shadow that automatically occurs? And I'm not coloring my bumblebee. I wanna show you what I'm gonna do with that little guy right there. His wings are transparent, so yes, you have to color his wings, ding on it. But I'm gonna take a gold wink of Stella. It's a glitter brush, and I'm gonna color over our bumblebee just like that. In this way, our bumblebee glows and glitters. And then I'm gonna take the clear wink of Stella glitter brush, and I'm gonna glitter over um, her wings or his wings just like that. Now I can actually leave this white one here if I wanted to or softly color over it. Because I'm doing this very, um, it's loosey goosey, I'm just gonna kinda go like that. Another reason why you want that grid paper underneath is um, it catches all the extras that you don't want. I'm double checking that I didn't forget anything because that will drive me bonkers and my therapy should never drive me bonkers. It should heal some of that. We all have a little bit of our own crazy, don't we? And I'm again checking here, and I'm gonna go in with the stems, I'm gonna paint them a little crumb cakey. And you think this might look a little boring, but I think it's so beautiful. You can't go wrong with just, you know, two colors. You're thinking, but once you see it on the card all layered, I think it's so pretty. Okay, I don't know what you're thinking actually, because guess what, I'm not the boss of your card or your mind. Ha ha, okay. Super simple. Now I'm going to take the Dapper Denim design uh, cardstock, and this is slightly wet, so you want to be careful when you're using adhesive. Now either let it dry, or just be careful not to tear your paper. I'm using the Fast Fuse adhesive, and I'm going to go across, check mark, across, check mark. Now when you are watercoloring, your paper will warp. Across, oopsies. Um, I see that my Fast Fuse just ran out. Don't you love that? Did you know our fast fuses can be re, um, refilled? This is how I do it. I open our fast fuse adhesive. You got a second tutorial here. You didn't even know it. And I'm going to look for my beautiful replacement cartridge. I'm going to open up my fast fuse, and I'm going to make sure there's no adhesives on the inside. This is where your ink, your adhesives will snap back into the roller, and I make sure I clear that out every time. And I put it inside of my trash can, but I'm going to put it there right now. Okay, and then I see how my cartridge is laying and I pull this out, just like this, and this whole piece will go in the trash. And I double check that there's no adhesive extras. Nobody wants extra bits in their adhesive roller. And then I'm gonna place this down, just like so. It's always hard for me, especially when I'm trying to highlight something. There you go, just like that, and then you click and you're ready to go again, just like that. And then, and then um, roll and check. Fast Fuse is very strong, but because I watercolored, my paper is warped. Can you see how it's warped right there? This will help to eliminate it by applying adhesive on all four sides. And I'm gonna frame it out. So this is a paper that is a four by three, and we are, our, design, our card stock behind it is um, four and a quarter by three and a quarter. And then I'm gonna take our crumb cake cardstock, and you'll see the coffee bag at the end of this video of what inspired it. I didn't steal it from my friend. Don't even look at my nails. I was just goat, goat gardening, and I didn't come in and wash before I videoed for you guys. Okay, this here, and then I'm going to apply adhesive from the Fast Fuse, and I'm gonna off-center it. So it's not gonna go directly on the center, but then again, you are in charge of your card. I am not like this because guess what I'm not the boss of your card see I do say it quite often and this is our copper foil I cut this at a half inch by four inch copper is very very on trend and it makes me so happy 
I actually have lots and lots of copper accents in my um, kitchen, so I love it so much. And now I have Fast Fuse going across the back, and I'm going to place it just like so, just to frame it like a little belly. And you have this beautiful card just like this. I hope you enjoyed watercoloring with me tonight. Remember, you can see this full tutorial right on my blog. Ooh, look at that glimmer. Oh, that bumblebee is glowing. Don't you love that? And the foil. So make sure you can check me out at gettingcraftystampin.com and come and create with us anytime. I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye. Oh, before I forget, don't forget to order your free designer series paper from our celebration catalog, as well as all the glimmer paper. Oh, I gave you shadow. Sorry. I'll get all this shadow, all this beautiful glimmer. And that's all free right now for a limited time until March 31st, 2017. Every $50 you spend, you can score this. Now, the best deal in town is when you join our start, grab our starter kit and you join the Gettin' Crafty Stampin' Family. You can actually score $125 worth of products for only $99 and then pick any two bonus stamp sets right now on sale until March 31st for free up to $104 value. That's $229 worth of products for free or for only $99, but just wait. It's even better because there's free shipping on all of that. So that's an additional $30 in free shipping. You cannot pass that up for $99. It's awesome. Check out why I love our Gettin' Crafty Stampin' family and then join us. We'd love to have you. Bye.